Oh, this is driving me mad. <laughs> okay, so I'm out of action. I've had a knee operation. After five years of pain, I've just got to wait for the other one now. I just hope it's not another five years. Yeah, so I've had action. I've not been able to go out. I've been updating my website, designing new logos, doing all the things in front of a computer, trying to keep my mind active, watching loads of YouTube videos and things like that. Luckily, I've, all, I've been planning this all year uh, to get a back catalogue of videos already and to be honest with you it couldn't have worked at a perfect time because two weeks ago I went I went touring North Wales, Snowdonia and a touch of Anglesey. I'd managed to put about eight videos together so they they coming up in the next next weeks. Um, so I'm sitting at home and I am bored because um, I can't get out. I can't get out. I can, I have drove yesterday, had the operation a, a week ago. Everything's going great, really, really pleased. So I've been watching YouTube videos um, in between doing my rehab, <laughs> my, um, on a cycle and whatever, um, trying to move as best as I can within the house, walking around, been walking 100 yards coming back. And um, so I've watched an awful lot of YouTube videos and I watched one last week um, to do with infrared photography. Now, most of you have watched the video, you know who it is. I'm not gonna mention the name, no need to. Um, but I'm stuck at home, so I can't go out and get these type of images because it's the perfect time of year. Blue skies, puffy white clouds, green fields, green trees for some infrared photography. Like I say, I can't do that. So I'm thinking, well, let me try and create some in the Lightroom that uh, emulate infrared. And I've done it and I've, I've saved it as a, a preset and I'm gonna go over it now and show you what I've done. So I've chosen an image which I thought would suit um, infrared. And this image is actually of my lone tree in um, my local uh, fields and, and I've photographed it and videoed it many a times and uh, it's a super tree, it just sits on the, the ridge of this beautiful field um, but the image I've chosen is actually a, um, an hybrid of, the, of two images the first image is, is the actual tree itself which I've used this image um, basically of the tree and the shadow of the tree is what I've used. And then I've used this next image of the, the fields, the track in the fields, which is the next field along actually, and both taken at blue top on the same day. Um, beautiful, beautiful day for taking images like this. Actually, beautiful morning. I went out for half an hour and spent two or three hours out in the fields. Getting bored and what have you, I ended up hybrid, making an hybrid image of them two images, put them two images together and produce this image. Um, and I think this could really suit for an infrared image. So how did I create the preset? Very, very simple indeed. And I'm gonna go over it now with you. So the first thing we do, click black and white. So we've gone to black and white, and then all we're gonna go is down to the the colour sliders, the colour mixers in black and white. And we're going to leave the magenta as it is. The purple we're going to put to minus 40. Minus 40. The blues we're going to put to minus 80. Minus 80. And the acre we're going to put to minus 80. I oh, can already see things are starting to change dramatically. So we've on the greens, we're going to change the greens to plus 80. The yellows to plus 80, because there's a lot of yellow and green. Um, 
and then our range we're going to go to plus 40. Save it as a preset. So click the plus button on the preset, create preset. Um, we'll call it, even though I've saved it many times, IR stamp. Create. That saved that preset. So we can, if we reset that image now, all we've got to do is when we choose an image, is just scroll over the preset and it will show you what it's going to look like. And then from there, we'll, we'll, we'll put that preset in. And then from there, we can adjust it however we want. We can change all the other things as normal, come down the sliders, clarity, texture, whatever we want to do. But that's the basis of doing the infrared photography or looking like infrared photography. Um, and that is it really, that is it. I did choose some other images that might potentially work, sometimes I don't, but the good thing about this is we can just click on the image, scroll over the, the preset, and it shows you what it's gonna look like. And it's simple, scroll over. Yes, I could work with that lone tree there. We can, we can drop down the shadows if we wanted, up the highlights if we wanted, down the blacks, make it a nice image. Jobs are good, infrared, with a, with a very quick, easy preset. The only thing I would say is, if you are gonna try it, go out there, I'm, I'm struggling to get out there, so I've picked an image that I thought would suit, but it'd be ideal if we went out there, shot the image, with everything in mind to put this preset onto it when we come back and just see if it works. It's just a bit of fun and um, it's, it's kept my mind going for a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, a little little bit of a tip there. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, hopefully I can get back out in the next few weeks, even if it's local. I'm sure I can, things are going really well, like I say, not in any pain as such at all, unless I walk too far. So uh, things are going really well. Fingers crossed. Like I say, then I need the, the left one doing then. Um, okay, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video and um, I'll see you soon.